busiest travel day of the year and in an effort to reduce crowds, airlines waived fees, encouraging passengers to leave early to avoid the weather. Some people, though, had no choice but to fly today. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. Many families reuniting for the Thanksgiving holiday. AAA reports more than 46 million Americans are traveling this weekend. That's up more than 4% from last year. 89% will hit the road, while 8% taking to the skies. And KXY Forest Grace Ditzler working for you. She's been at Spokane International all evening. Grace, how has, been tra how has travel been out of Spokane? Nadine, traveling out of other parts of the country has been a headache for people today, but the flights out of Spokane have been going relatively well, and travelers I spoke to said they're just happy that they get to reunite with their family members. Kelsey Malone and her family reunited for Thanksgiving today at SeaTac Airport. So I have an aunt and two cousins that came from Auburn. I have another aunt that came from Vashon Island this morning, um, and then a cousin where did she come from? They flew over from Seattle and are heading to their family property in Hunters, Washington. These ladies got to fly while the men are driving the Thanksgiving meal over from the west side. Kelsey says their travels were smooth. We were surprised originally when getting to the Seattle SeaTac Airport how um, not chaotic it was, how kind of normal it looked. Yeah, it was pretty quiet. And then um, arriving here, this airport's very easy to navigate, so that was good. Other travelers had similar stories. Actually, it was really good today. Everybody was in a really good mood. I think people are excited to have, um, you know, time with family and just get away a little bit. Jill Sasser flew from Portland to be with her in-laws. She says while flying today wasn't bad, buying the tickets was a part that gave her a headache. It's hard at Thanksgiving. There's really specific days people want to fly usually, and so it can be expensive. And in fact, we got the last two seats on this flight. It was booked up 100%. But at the end of the day, these travelers are just excited to have made it safely to their Thanksgiving destination. And we all come from different areas, and we all kind of come together in one place. It's nice. Okay, look right at the lady. Okay, say ha happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And I just recently checked with the arrivals and flights for CTA, or Spokane International Airport. And so far, flights are arriving and departing on schedule. Reporting at the Spokane International Airport tonight, I'm Grace Stitzler, KXLY 4 News. Well, that is good.